Hello. Today we are going to do a demonstration of backing up SharePoint using DocEv and TSM. I'd like to start out by giving you some idea of the environment in which we're going to do this demo. As you can see, we're running the TSM client 640 and our TSM server is version 6.3.3. If you look, we've predefined a couple nodes here. One is our node for our base system, which is this system, VMSP. And we've also defined a node called VMSP DocEv, which is going to be used to accept data from DocEv version 6. If we go and look at our SharePoint 2010 farm, uh, or just one site in it. It's pretty simple. We have a test site that is defined here and as you can see we have a couple shared documents. I really don't have much content in here other than that. One of the things I did want to show you is uh, I have this document here and I do want to show you the permissions on this document so let me see if I can do that and as you can see I have test site visitors set up to have full control over the document. That's just to kind of show you how DocEv can back up not only the content of the SQL Server database and the content of the sites but also the permissions associated with the sites and also all of the metadata that's associated with the sites when it comes to SharePoint. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my site just so I can have it up here. And there's my site and I'll just minimize that so it can be run in the background. The next thing I want to do before we actually do the site is go into DocEv and what I'd like to start with is the control panel here. We've done a little setup in DocEv to, to pre-configure the environment. We have defined a physical device in DocEv which is used for storing data and as you're going to see here in a second when this pops up our physical device is just going to point to the TSM server because it is going to act as a repository of our of our DocEv data. We'll just wait for that for a few seconds or so and we'll go to details and you can see here we're pointing to our TSM server We've also defined a logical device which is used in DocEv to combine physical devices. In our case, we just have one called TSM. And we also have a storage policy that is created which gives us a logical device to point to uh, as well as sets up our retention policies. So that is going to be predefined. So I'm going to go ahead and close the control center. I'll go ahead and click on granular backup and the first thing we're going to do when we do an ad hoc backup is set our default settings for ad hoc backup. I'm going to pick a policy that I'm going to use by default. As you can see here there's some other options that we can set that DocEv can do for us including compression, encryption, uh, set up particular filters so that when we're doing the backup we only pick up certain objects, include workflows, etc. I'm just going to pick up the policy and then I'll do an OK to save that policy. Now some of this stuff can be like for instance encryption and compression can be done by your storage device. It can also be done by TSM. So where the most appropriate place to do this is is going to be an architectural decision on your part. 
Okay, so when the dialog box closes, what I'm going to do is then go ahead and do uh, expand my farm. And you do that by just double clicking on the farm. And DocEv will now go and use the SharePoint API and pull back the information about my farm. What you're going to see is that I only have one site in my farm. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to back up the whole site. You could filter to pick up individual objects if you chose to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the whole site here and do an ad hoc backup. When I do that, DocEv is going to launch me into a wizard. I'll make the screen a little bigger just so we can see everything. These are some of the default settings you had before about compression, encryption, filter policies, etc. I'm just going to go ahead and run the backup immediately now and accept the defaults. So now note that DocEv is telling us the job has started and that we can go to Job Monitor to see the job details. When I click on Job Monitor, DocEv is going to pull up the all the jobs that are uh, have been run and are running. And as soon as the job starts, we're going to see that information come in the list. And there, as you can see, the dog the job is starting. What I'm going to do is, while that job is running, since it'll take a few minutes to do our backup on this system that we're running. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and we'll come back when we're a hundred percent completed. Okay, our backup job has 100 percent finished now so what I'd like to do is just look at the details of the job. I'll go ahead and select it and do a view details and as you can see DocAv will pull up an overview of the job and its statistics that it finished number of objects and failed objects which are zero. Our size is relatively small. You can also see details here and by default you're sorted on failed and skipped. I'm going to go ahead and sort on successful so you can just see some further information and note that you have three pages here that you can go in and look through if you wanted to. What I'll do is I'll close this. I'll close my job monitor. I'm going to minimize DocAv. And then what I'll do is to show or restore, I'm not going to restore the whole site, but I'll take one of these objects, for instance, my image readme here, and I'll go ahead and delete that from the test site. I'm using SharePoint 2010 fix pack one so I do have a recycle bin that is associated with my my site so what I'm gonna do is just to make the document an object completely gone I'm gonna go ahead and delete it from the recycle bin so there it is completely gone now I'm gonna go back to DocAv and I'm gonna do a restore and what I'll do is I'll just click on restore and DocEv will walk me through this nice little wizard here that will allow me to choose what I want to restore and it's just laid out in six steps which are pretty easy to follow. You can filter particular plans so particular plan names restore granularity. DocEv has the ability for granular backup and restores to do full incremental or differential so you can filter on those. We're gonna go ahead and look at all types just so I can see it because I don't have a lot of backups in this system. And here what you see is a calendar which contains all of the restore jobs that match the criterion that we had. We only have one which is the one we just did so I'm gonna go ahead and select it and do a next. And then when I do that I'll be able to have a tree that contains all the objects that were back up from that granular backup. You can double click on that and drill down 
Uh, and here you can see you can drill down to particular sites within the farm. I'm going to go ahead and expand this. I'll go ahead and expand my lists. Note that I have two pages here of data that I can restore. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick this VMSP site, which is what I want, where my document is that I'm trying to restore. I'm going to go ahead and here and expand my list. And here's my shared documents folder. I'll go ahead and double click that to expand that out. Double click to expand the root folder. And then when I click on items, I'll see the particular objects or items in there that I want to restore. I'm going to restore my image readme here. Note that I can choose to restore or not restore the security that's associated with that. I'm also going to restore all of these attributes that are associated with it. So this is all of the the full fidelity information that's associated with the object you will get when you do this restore. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. I'll do a next. Note that you can do an in-place restore, an out-of-place restore, or restore to a file system. An out-of-place restore allows you to restore to, con to another SharePoint location, uh, or you can restore the to a file system without requiring SharePoint. We're going to go ahead and do it inside the SharePoint site. I'm going to go ahead and do a merge the content and overwrite and then I'll just do next and then I'll restore once the wizard is finished and then I'll do finished and now my restore job has started so I'll go to job monitor here and when the restore job kicks off in the job monitor we should see it pop up in the list again I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording while this restore runs just so you won't have to sit here and watch it and I'll be back when it, the restore finishes okay our restore has finished now again let's go take a look at the details of it so I'll click on the job click on view details note that my restore finished I only restored five successful objects uh, and again I can click on failed or skipped if I want to see the successful I can do that and here's my site collection my site my list and my item that have been restored and were all successful. Go ahead and close that and we'll go back to our test site. So we'll go back to our test site and note that we have our document back. And again, note here that the modified date on the document is not the date we put it back, but the complete original information from the document also if we select the document and take a look at the permissions you'll see that I don't have any sort of default permissions here I have the exact permissions that I had when I started so I'm not inheriting permissions and my test site visitors also have full control so I'll go ahead and Go back to test site and that will conclude this demo of granular backup and restore in DocF6.